All hail the Yarlathoth. All hail the The Antichrist is coming. Hi, it's Thomas. We're in Cleveland outside the House of Wills. Uh, this is an old funeral home owned by one Eric Freeman, who is Cleveland's leading proponent of satanic thought. He is uh, formerly associated with Anton LaVey and some of his children from the Church of Satan. Well, I'm curious about full-term possession, like wholly giving yourself over to dark forces, and I think of no better format for doing so than Satanism, where the foundational right is selling your soul to the biggest dark force of all, the devil. Um, so uh, tonight we will be conducting uh, one of the satanic rituals as written by LaVey, the Ceremony of the Nine Angles, and uh, we will hopefully be summoning the Goat of a Thousand Ages and maybe indoctrinating ourselves into the Order of the Nine Angles, which is a secret society of Satanists, perhaps the most secret society of Satanists, who advocate animal sacrifice, human sacrifice, and reshaping the world according to your will. Let's see if it works. Like, what is Satanism, like, really? I mean, to me, it's a logical format of exactly how to fundamentally get the most out of life without any kind of dogma, superstition, fear, or anything else controlling you. It's you being completely in control of your universe. Okay. And in Satanism, we have our own, you know, general structure of how we treat people. Oh, well, can you describe that structure? Uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. We absolutely do not turn the other cheek. Um, stupidity is the number one sin. If you're magic and you create something, never doubt yourself, because once you doubt yourself, it's gone. And that's the, that's the worst part about heaven or hell or any of that, is that people fundamentally believe that after this existence, they're gonna go to a better place. So what you do here doesn't matter. And that, that's really sad. I would say these things like the skulls, the tombstones, the coffins, any of these various objects of art are memento mores, are just symbols of death. These uh, do not imply in any way that we're the least bit eager to die or have any sort of Freudian death wish. On the contrary, these are constant reminders that death is around the corner and death doesn't present a better uh, than what we have now world. Can you walk me through the roots of uh, American Satanism? I would state that uh, most ideas of Western Satanism has probably come from the Fool Society back in, the, uh, in Germany in the uh, early 1900s. After that, you absolutely have Crowley, who is the most evil man you know, alive. I mean, when you look at him, his do what thou wilt turned into do your own thing, which is absolutely instrumental in the structure of the 60s, the 70s, you know, even today with Let Your Freak Flag Fly, like that's all based on Crowley, who's the most evil man in the world, but then you have this hippie peace movement that spawns from this gentleman. You can even go to Charles Manson, who, was uh, instrumental in Atwa, what is it, Air Trees, Water Earth, I believe. The Green Movement today is all based on Charles Manson. This is a man that's still in prison today who never killed anyone. Like, if you want to talk about will and what you can create, that man, like, that man knows what's going on. Yeah. And that's why they have him in a cage. And if you ask him, like, hey, do you like jail? He'll just straight up, he'll be like, what jail? Because he knows that he can do whatever he wants in his mind. Is he completely sane? Absolutely not. Um, but that doesn't mean that he's completely ignorant as to the way things work. It's the duality of nature that people don't comprehend. They only see one thing when they look at things. The altar is a living slab of flesh in the personification or in the person of a nude young woman. The altar stone or the mantle which holds the altar was made from cobblestones from the San Francisco streets that were broken up in the 1906 earthquake. Satan is simply a word that means the adversary, or the opposition, or the accuser. It doesn't necessarily mean evil, or brutality, or cruelty. It simply means the dissenter. Oh, 
This is evidently today's ritual room in the basement. I know. And these are, I presume, the participants in uh, the ceremony we're about to conduct. This looks about right. The Orator of the Nine Angles is actually taken from uh, Michael Aquino, who is the co-founder of the Church of Satan. With LaVey, wrote the Satanic Rituals. Honor the without whose laughter the world should not be. At least the mentality behind it is you utilize different trappings to collect more power so that you have more power to alter reality. As a thought, great center of the cosmos, let thy flutes sing unto us, lulling us against the terrors of thy domain. Whether it existed or didn't exist, it exists today. That's the mentality of you know, Crowley, Manson, all of it. It's all a mental state where you restructure the entire universe through your thought process. All hail the devil. All hail the devil. Satanists don't believe in the devil. They don't believe in heaven, hell, God, anything. We believe in us, and we believe in our will altering reality, that it's your life, it's your reality, and you have the ability to do whatever you want. And either you can do it or you can't do it. You can either be a victim or you can be a winner. And it's up to you on which choice, which path you want to take. You can either be part of it or you can be it.